In this video, we will focus on paper chromatography. Chromatography is a physical method used to separate two or more components that dissolve in the same solvent. We can use chromatography to separate and identify components in a sample. We can also use chromatography to determine purity of a substance. A pure substance gives only one spot on a chromatogram. So what is a chromatogram? Chromatogram is the result of chromatography, showing us the separate components of a sample. Now we draw a line at the bottom of the chromatography paper about 1 cm from the bottom of this strip will do. Do note, it is important that we use pencil instead of pen for this line because we do not want the ink from the pen to dissolve in the solvent and interfere with the result. Then we put a drop of the sample on the pencil line. Once the sample has dried, we dip the chromatography paper into a suitable solvent. There are different solvents available, such as ethanol. The solvent will then get soaked up by the paper and it will travel up the paper and dissolve the sample. The sample will travel up the chromatography paper together with the solvent. Different components in the sample will move at different speeds and so become separated. We will leave the apparatus to stand. Do not shake or move the set up until the solvent has traveled up almost the end of the chromatography paper. At the end of the experiment, you would achieve a chromatography paper with the separated components. We call this the chromatogram. The sample that we used contains a mixture of components. So what are these components present in the sample? We can determine that by calculating the RF value, which is the distance traveled by the substance, divided by the distance traveled by the solvent. Different substances in the sample will have its own RF value. We can then identify the substance by comparing its RF value with the RF value of a known substance. Now, will the RF value be influenced by the duration of the chromatography? If we give it more time for the solvent to travel up the chromatography paper, the distance traveled by the component will increase too. Hence, the RF value remains the same. This is so if the conditions of the chromatography are the same, which is the same solvent is used and the temperature of the room is the same. Now, if you find this video useful, like the video and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.